Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Laura McNeil, CEO of Global Lime Alliance. We are so excited for you to join us tonight in person for the first time in three years. The last few years have been unprecedented, with the threat of COVID looming over our heads, being unable to hold our in-person events has been challenging. Still, GLA has not only survived, but we thrived. And even during those challenging times, GLA-funded research remained active. We continued to move forward, we persevered, and now we are here with you tonight. What an honor. As you saw in the video that just played, GLA is the organization best suited to make progress in the fight against Lyme and other tick-borne diseases. We are excited to be leading the way, pushing the boundaries of science and transforming its discoveries into real change for the Lyme community. As the new CEO of GLA, it's been about four months now, uh, I want to share my perspective. Thank you. <laughs> they just threw me right in. I know. Um, I want to give you an update on what we've accomplished, and finally, I want to tell you what lies ahead. So first, I was aware of the dangers of Lyme disease, but still, I was surprised to learn of the true devastation that Lyme can bring to physical and mental health. I wasn't aware that there was big divide in the Lyme disease community. On one side, you have millions suffering from debilitating symptoms, unable to get the help that they need, with insurance companies not covering treatment. On the other hand, large organizations like the IDSA and the CDC maintain that Lyme disease is easy to diagnose and easy to treat. They have dismissed the persistence of symptoms over time, even those who still suffer after treatment. It's no wonder that many people are confused about Lyme. But learning about these issues made me even more grateful to be here because we are in the best position to help Lyme patients. It's actually central to our mission to do so. I can honestly say that the world is a better place thanks to GLA. With its humble beginnings in 1998, GLA began as a small group of moms looking to help their children and fund better research for a cure. In the beginning, we had limited reach beyond New York City and Connecticut, no social media presence, and a limited educational program. Today, we have become truly global. We have people from more than 200 countries visiting us on our website each year. That alone gives a little insight into the global problem that we're dealing with. It's no longer just a Northeast problem. We help over 400 patients a month with our long-standing physician referral program led by GLA board member and volunteer Lori Nadell. Thanks to Lori, we yeah. She's here. I, I haven't seen her yet, but she's here tonight. But thanks to Lori, we've helped over 115,000 patients find a Lyme doctor in their area. And as we have evolved, GLA has learned that this network is stronger than the sum of its parts. We are proud to be reaching millions through our marketing efforts each year. You may have seen our print PSA running in subscriber copies of Vogue, Vanity Fair, Allure, Bon Appetit, and Golf Digest, just to name a few. It features our fantastic awareness ambassador, Kelly Flanagan, whom you may have seen from the Bachelor franchise on ABC, and she's here with us tonight too. Thank you for coming, Kelly. <clears throat> GLA now has a social media following that has grown to be the largest voice in the Lyme community with over 82,500 followers. Through this platform, our patient-focused content reaches millions every year. We are spreading awareness and creating a community so that people suffering can become educated, get tips on living with the disease, and connect to feel less alone. We have unique corporate partnerships with companies like Quidel that help us provide accredited educational webinars. They're here, so we'll just share them now. <laughs> full table, full table. Quidel partners with us to provide educational webinars on Lyme for healthcare practitioners, and these are also available to the general public. The Quidel executive team is here, so round of applause again for them. Yeah. 
Through our Lyme Education Ambassador Program, we have over 100 U.S. and abroad ambassadors on the ground who educate their local communities about the disease. In addition, we know that the Lyme journey is often lonely, so we created the first ever peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program for patients and caregivers suffering from tick-borne illnesses so that people who need it most are getting support. We are so proud to be able to support the community. However, GLA believes that the best support that we can provide is our investments in research. Paul referenced some of our research projects, and I'm proud to report that GLA has invested more than $16 million to tick-borne research. Not only that, but as of 2022, over 145 of our studies were accepted and published in more than 85 peer-reviewed scientific journals. <laughs> our investments have driven the most significant research advancements, and our research has by far the most publications than any other Lyme-focused nonprofit in the space. All of these significant accomplishments resulted from teamwork by a highly dedicated employee staff, a world-class scientific advisory board, a medical advisory board, passionate volunteers, and our professional board of directors. We have truly come a long way. But the bottom line is that we need to act together has never been greater. And GLA has a unique role to play in making a true impact. There's still so much work to be done with friends and partners like you, we will make a positive and impactful difference for all of those suffering from this cunning disease. We appreciate your support and thank you for being part of our alliance. Thank you.